happen. But one of the key characters, this is an, an, an uh, I think an important thing to bring up in advance of this, is uh, the lock that they signed from South Africa, Gerbant Grobler. Just have a look at this headline from when he was uh, a 22-year-old from a uh, South African newspaper, Western Province, that's what the WP stands for, WP lock test positive. Gerbrandt Grobler has received a two-year ban after testing positive for an anabolic steroid. Um, the test was done last October during the Curry Cup. Uh, when Grobler was informed of the result, he admitted his guilt and made a settlement agreement with the South Africa Institute for Drug-Free Sport. And so he served a two-year ban for that. The drug was an anabolic steroid, which um, had been traditionally used for the treatment of breast cancer. So it wasn't something that you take accidentally. It's like something that you decide is going to help you build muscle because he uh, didn't have breast cancer. And so therefore, he didn't need to take that drug. This happened, the, the transfer, he, he served a two-year ban, left South Africa, went to Racing in Paris, and then uh, at the end of a one year in Racing, ended up being available and signed for Munster. We don't know exactly who signed him for Munster. I presume Razzy Rasmus would have been involved in that signing. You presume it also has to be signed off by, at some point, by the IRFU. Um, and I guess it also has to be signed off on by the chief executive.